look at that. Ah, mm. uh, I forgot what it's called. Whatever. I'll be quiet. Excuse me. The exhibit hall is upstairs. We are not tourists, Dr. Jones. I am Marshal Kai Ti Chang of the Chinese Republic. This is my assistant, Mei Ying. So, oh, what can I do for you? Oh, yeah. You sure this is Jones, Boshi? A good name. You don't want to get away from his face. The Boshi is not going to be able to get away from him. No matter what you do, you can create your own body. Only you can get away from him. Do you have any advice? Awkward. What do you know about Qin Shi Huang Ti? The first emperor of China. He built the Great Wall and established a dynastic government that lasted for centuries. His reign lasted from 255 B.C. to... That information can be found in a school book, Dr. Jones. My interests concern the stories surrounding the Emperor's tomb. As you are undoubtedly aware, Emperor Qin is buried under Mount Li near the city of Xi'an. Yes, that's about all anybody really knows for sure. According to the legends, Qin's tomb is an immense underground city filled with unimaginable riches which took thousands of workers several years to build. Ah. After its completion, all those involved with the construction of the tomb were sealed inside. At least that's what the stories say. Due to Chinese superstition, nobody really knows for sure. Yes. The Chinese people have always held that excavation and desecration of the tomb are one and the same. As a consequence, no one has ever been allowed to explore it. Until now. Just randomly. Why are you coming to me with this? Chinese history isn't exactly my specialty. It's your non-academic reputation that interests me. Have you ever heard of the heart of the dragon? Only in Chinese folklore. It's a mythological artifact like Excalibur or the Holy Grail. Ah, but unlike those flights of Western fancy, the heart of the dragon is quite real. A flawless black pearl that was buried with the emperor. It's said that the heart possesses the power to control the will of men. Look, I know you traveled a long way to see me, but I'm an archaeologist, not a mystic. Mm, then it's a good thing I came looking for an archaeologist. Superstitious folk tales aside, the heart is a priceless treasure of the Chinese people, one that must never fall into the wrong hands. That is why China wants you to find it. Okay, let's say I'm interested. It'll take months of meticulous excavation to find the entrance to Chin's crypt. I wouldn't even know where to begin. On the contrary, Dr. Jones, you've already begun. OMG Plot Twist! What the heck is that? It is one third of the Mirror of Dreams. The mirror is the key to finding the crypt's entrance within the tomb. You do not realize the magnitude of the events you have set in motion, Dr. Jones. Even as we speak, Others are pursuing the two remaining pieces. Can we just, if just throw them, it into Mount Doom? We'll stop them from entering the crypt, <laughs> stealing the heart, and using its power to enslave the world. Ah, my apologies, Professor. My assistant is cursed with a vivid imagination and an impetuous tongue. This is such a long time. Reminds me of my last date. <laughs> In any event, the British government has graciously allowed me to take possession of this artifact on China's behalf. We want you to recover the final two pieces of the mirror, enter Qin's crypt, and recover the heart of the dragon. You'll become the most famous archaeologist in history. Even though he already found the ark. A chance to become the first man in the Emperor's tomb? When do we leave? Oh, yeah. I've already booked you a flight to Prague. It leaves tomorrow morning. This contains everything you need to know. Read it on the flight. We're going to Prague Be for careful, some unknown Dr. Jones. The path to the dragon's heart is more dangerous than you can imagine. It always is, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, things are dangerous, whatever. Ooh, look! It's a, uh, flying over the ocean thing. I'm gonna have to edit in because Fraps doesn't record this stuff. But here we go to Brawl. When I first played this game, and I saw the, uh, Chinese guy, I don't think he even has a name, but I was sure he was a the bad guy or he was gonna become the bad guy. Looks like the old He kind of is going to be the bad guy. Can't afford any trouble on this one. I wonder if my mic catches 
whispers like that. But whatever. I didn't just give it away the plot or anything. Uh, you know what? Fine, I'll do it. I was having this idea where... Oh crap, this is gonna work out. Darn it! Yeah. I'm gonna switch my... Um, I'm gonna switch my hands around so that my right hand is on WASD. And, uh... Eh. My left hand is on the mouse, because I'm right-handed. <laughs> I don't know why I just decided to do that. So right now I am like have reverse controls, sort of. Oh, come on. This is so awkward. I don't know why I'm doing this. Maybe because this level is pretty easy. Just randomly clicking. I'm making sure that you can hear it. Yeah, he's dead. You know what? Forget this. I'm I'm not gonna have my hands backwards like that. I'm just no. <laughs> Wait, did I think one of them went? Ah, oh, whatever. I don't need guns. All right. Um, should I shoot him? I'm an American. You don't want to kill me. I have freedom that you cannot possibly comprehend. I have the freedom to jump over here. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall down. Guess not. Oh, I never did my intro. This is part six, but whatever. That that cutscene was long enough of an intro. I don't even know how long it was. Do you have your papers? What? Nine, nine. Not intimidating enough. <clears throat> Show me your papers now, please. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's really funny. They could they could have easily not put that in. That just shows how awesome of a game this is. I think um it's in my like top twenty games I've played. And yes, I've played more than twenty games, so just had to say that, yeah. Uh, I guess because of the length of that stinking cutscene, I'm only going to do this level for this part. But you probably already know that because there's only like three minutes left out there. Unless I die or something stupid. But anyway, we get a medkit. There's a guy over here. Let's try our new gun. Not as powerful as the revolver. In fact, it's half as powerful because it takes four shots to kill someone on night two for the revolver. I just felt the need for a real common sense there. Oh yeah, and if you didn't believe me before, Indy does have this smaller canteen. By the way, revolver ammo. You don't even get to like use the revolver later in the game. Like, you start out the sections with six bullets, but that's all you're ever gonna get in that section, because no. In fact, no enemy drops revolvers in this game. So. Yeah. <laughs> you probably know this part is already almost over, with only like 1 minute 30 seconds remaining. I'm just guesstimating how long it's gonna take. Because I know that door over there, if you can see it. I kind of already got away from it, but I know that's the end of the level. But if you go over here, because you're all like smart and stuff, you will find ammo. There we go. Alright, got 79 on the Liga, or however you pronounce that. And, um, yeah. So, end of level. And, for all I know, this is only a 9 minute part, but I don't want to go into the next level, so. Until next time, see you. See ya, whatever. Goodbye.